Today I'm going to show you guys how to overclock your hard drive. You heard that right, overclock your hard drive. If you can't afford a fancy SSD with its high speed and low capacity, why not take an old hard drive and overclock it? We already do it with our CPU and GPU, so why not with our hard drive? Let me step you through this. First, you'll need to take apart your hard drive. This is pretty straightforward, just unscrew all the screws on the cover. With these screws removed, you can look at the internals of your hard drive, nice, clean, pristine. And I want to show you something first. Let's see what our transfer rate looks like by copying a simple file. You'll see right now, with no change, it's pretty slow, hovering at about just 10 megs. This, this is a pretty old hard drive, only 40 gigs, so it's understandable. The speed in a hard disk is determined by the RPM, just like in a car. So a faster RPM means a faster drive. With the hard drive open, we need to prep the drive. So with it plugged in and running, you're going to need to grab some markers. A permanent marker and a whiteboard marker. The permanent marker is for your storage layer, while a whiteboard marker is for editing. You just need to apply it smoothly. And when you're done with this, you should end up with a quite nice piece of art. I think Van Gogh would be proud. You'll need to now manually format that layer to smooth out its perfections. You can do this with a, with a knife or a screwdriver. Any metal tool will work. You just let that run. Now to the point. For your hard disk, speed is determined by RPM, just like in a car. So the faster RPM means a faster drive. So basically what we're going to do is make the hard drive spin faster. So with this drill, I can just go ahead and manually override the speed. Do you, do you hear that? That's the sound of high-speed data. And what, and what about that smell? Oh, you don't. You don't need to worry about the smell. Anyway, let's check on. Let's let's go ahead and check out what our speeds are right now. And you'll see right away, uh, we're almost at 40 megs a second. You know, if you think about that, that's four times as fast. That's pretty incredible. So yeah, it, it works. And you know, don't try this out if you don't know what you're doing. You might end up breaking your drive. But if you've got something that you know you can that you're about to throw out, just go ahead. And uh, so what what I'll let you guys do is figure out how to make a permanent solution. I mean, I'll give you a hint. Uh, duct tape usually works well. I mean, that's my own solution. But I didn't have time to put that in the video, so you can go ahead and, and do that. 